Femi, welcome. Thanks for having me. I want to ask you about in-house SEO teams. You've okay. got lots of experience in SEO, so your insights going to be really valuable. So can you tell me what is an in-house SEO team? An in-house SEO team is a situation where you don't have dependencies on working with an external agency or a contractor. You hire everybody you need within your company and they're on your payroll. So that's having all the skills and requirements for SEO end to end within your business. That's an in-house SEO team. So what are some of the benefits that you've seen over time during your career of having an in-house SEO team versus, for example, working with an agency? The first thing I would say is security. What I mean by security is you don't have a situation where, for example, an agency might have done something terrible that would affect your ranking or that might cost penalties from Google. You don't have to deal with that. With the in-house team, everybody is more focused on the business. They have internal communication with important stakeholders. So that communication channel is a very, very good benefit. And when it comes to implementation of things, working with the IT team and other departments, the in-house team are able to move faster than your agency. And then there's the cost element as well. When you bring your, when you in-house all your SEO capabilities, it saves you more money because you don't pay as much as you would pay for large agencies because with agencies they have a lot of overhead that is factored into the cost they charge you for seo services when you bring that in-house you don't pay for those overheads and even the on the tooling side as well you then buy the tools directly uh, from the vendors you don't have to go through an agency to get those tools so it saves you a lot of cost and speed as well execution speed and getting on top of things quickly that's the benefit of in having an in-house team. And you can also have an in-house team that also involves a contractor that works within your business, although they're not your employee, but they're part of your in-house team. So working with a contractor is also, in my opinion, although I'm biased in this situation, is part of an in-house team, yeah. So you've mentioned cutting down costs. How much does it cost actually to build an in-house SEO team? To build an in-house SEO team, you first need to factor in the cost of the tooling, the software that you need, although that's not the most important part, but you'd be looking at least six to $800 a month uh, over a 12 month period. That's one part that you need to look at. You need to look at tools that can do your technical SEO. You need to look at tools that can help with your content production, content optimization, and all those tools as well. So that's one thing. The second cost that you need to, co to consider is you need to look at the cost of hiring people. You need at least three people to kind of build your team. You need someone with technical background and other skills. So you're looking at, depending on the size of your team as well. If you're a startup, a small business, you don't need a team. You need an individual that would be your one man SEO team. If you're a larger organization with a large website, then you need to design your SEO team to be able to function end to end. Right. So that brings us nicely to the next question, which is around skills. Yeah. What kind of skills are required in SEO teams in-house? That's a good question. SEO is fundamentally divided, in my opinion, into three sections. You have the technical part, you have the content part, and then you have the link building or digital PR. So for the technical SEO, you need someone with a background in web design or an understanding of web design, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. This individual will be the person that will interface with your IT team when it comes to implementing and identifying each technical issues in your, on your website and things that happening with Google and all those kind of indexing issues, uh, crawling issues. That person will be responsible for working closely with your IT team. And I see this as an advantage of having an in-house team because working with an agency, sometimes they're not able to communicate directly with your IT team because that's another department. But when you in-house your SEO team, you're able to have those smooth line of communication with the IT and dev team to make the implementation of technical SEO faster. The second part in terms of skills that you need is the content side as well. You need someone that is responsible for content production, YouTube videos, text, images, that needs to be part of your content uh, skill set. And then you need the digital PR, someone that would kind of help with your online reputation management and all those important parts. 
You also need someone that is strategic. So that could be the person that would look at analytics and data to see how SEO is actually contributing to the sales, website sales. So those are the skills that you need within an SEO team. How you then structure those skills would then depend on how the availability of people with those skills in your area but since COVID and the world has changed, so you're not really restricted to having your in-house SEO team in the office or within a particular geographical area. You can have people in people that are farther away as part of your SEO team. So it kind of opens up the opportunity of really, really building an in-house SEO team if you're not really, really focused on having everybody coming into the office. So how do you structure a successful in-house SEO team? A successful in-house SEO team will have at the top uh, the head of SEO, it could be the SEO director, and that person will be a T-shaped skill individual because you want someone that understands the end-to-end -end and has experience of SEO from end-to-end, -end, has a good appreciation and understanding of technical SEO, has written content themselves because I see a lot of people that are in SEO that has never written a content. You need someone that has actually walked the walk, someone that has written content online, optimized a website. Even though if they work in organization, you need someone that has that actually is passionate about SEO. And then on the other side as well, you need someone that would be able to build and mentor the junior staff. That's the head of SEO. Below that, then you can then have a, a, a layer that is the SEO manager or senior SEO manager. That person could then be siloed. That person, what I mean by siloed is that person can be a specialist. So you can have a senior SEO manager that is focused on technical SEO. And then on another side, you have a SEO manager, a senior SEO manager that is focused on content. And then a senior SEO manager that is focused on link building and digital PR. Depending on the size of your organization, you can then have another layer below that is the SEO executive. And those people can be structured under technical content and link building, and then you can have a tech, um, SEO assistant and SEO intern. Again, it goes back to the size of your website and the capability and the, the capacity you need to be really functional with SEO. So that sounds like a lot of little cogs or pieces to yeah. move around. Yeah. Um, what are some of the different types of SEO teams you've encountered so far? I mentioned T-shaped skilled earlier on. So I've seen organizations that structure their team where they only have the required skill in house, but they still work with consultants. So say for example, you wanna do a technical SEO audit of your website and then find the issues, create a strategy, some organization hire consultants like myself to come in, help them with their technical SEO. That doesn't require, in some instances, a full-time person to be on your books, so you can hire someone. What needs to be in source, which I believe it's very, very important, is someone with content, SEO content background, because the technical SEO part, you can do it. It doesn't have to be ongoing. You can do it maybe once a year hire someone for a three month contract or a three month project. It could be an agency, it could be a, a con consultant like myself. That person would do the technical and then help you create a roadmap for your content optimization, content production. And then that's where you need the SEO content person. Again, that part as well, you can outsource, but it depends on your budget. Your budget would determine how much you can insource or outsource. And the level of skill that you need depending on which sector you're operating. If you operate in a sector that is very, very competitive, then it becomes a little bit difficult to insource all your SEO. You would need subject matter experts that have, have a background in optimization because sometimes in my experience, SEO teams often lack conversion optimization skill. It's okay to get traffic to a website through search engine, but if your website is not making the sale that you need, then you need to really get an SEO consultant with a background in conversion optimization to really help you get the best out of your SEO. Yeah. So for people who might not necessarily have the SEO experience but want to build in-house SEO teams for their business, is there any support out there? Anybody who can provide guidance, any guidance documents? Yes, um, there's a lot of resources out there. There's a lot of um, subject matter experts out there 
that offer SEO training. What I would recommend for small teams or small organizations or even med medium to large organizations that are looking to in-house their SEO is to get an SEO consultant that will come in and help you hire because you need someone that is a subject matter expert to help you really find the best quality candidates, help you go through the interview process. I know you can get that through a recruitment agency, but recruitment agencies are not necessarily subject matter experts, so they might not be able to nail the best candidate for you. If you hire an SEO consultant that would help you with the recruitment process, interview process, selection process, and then if that person is still with you, that person can also help you mentor the junior staff. So you don't really need someone to be in your organization for a long time to be able to mentor uh, your team. I've worked with organizations where they hire me on a three to four months basis where I go in, help them build their SEO strategy and also start training and mentoring the, the junior person that will then take over after the three months period to be the in-house SEO person. So you need some kind of support externally. And when you're trying to audit the performance of your SEO, sometimes you might need to bring a third party, an external consultant to work with the CEO, the CEO or senior stakeholders to help you, to give you a second opinion about your SEO performance. Because as a business leader, you might not understand anything about SEO but SEO in most instances will give like 70% of traffic to your website and it reduces your cost when rather than spending money on paid search having a good in-house SEO team can help you in, in a lot of ways yeah Femi Olajiga thank you thank you for having me and if you need any SEO consultancy or any SEO advice reach out to me thank you <laughs>